Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to give you a complete summary of the book Mindset, The New Psychology of Success by Dr. Carol Dweck. Now, this video is going to be a little different than my normal book summary videos because this, for the first time, um, is a book that I do not recommend that you go out and buy, that you go out and read. Usually, if I, if I like a book and if I talk about it to you, I recommend that you go read it yourself. And the difference with this book is that it's really repetitive, that it has a great premise, it has a really great concept um, that I think that you should know. However, this is what I call a, a book that should have been an article. That it's, it just repeats the same concept over and over and over and over again. And so I just don't really recommend that you take the time to read the book because you can get everything from the book just from this video here. And this is not the first book that I've read that was like that. I mean, I think people have this situation where they come across this great concept or this great idea and then somebody says, hey, you should write a book and they get all excited and they want to write a book about their amazing new idea. But then they find that their amazing idea just doesn't fill out a book, right? So they have to put a whole bunch of repetition in. So it makes for kind of a boring book. Um, and I did read the whole book, by the way, which is uh, a kind of a bit of a personality flaw of mine that I, when I start something, I like to complete it. Um, which is something that, that I'm, I'm working on because it kind of wastes a lot of my time. But anyway, so I don't think that you need to re read the book. If you do want to read the book, I'll put a link down in the description where uh, you can buy it on Amazon and I'll get like 50 cents from it. So, you know, if you do want to read it, then go for it. But uh, I think you'll learn everything you need to from this video. So the concept of the book is that there are two kinds of mindsets. Right, and we use that word mindset for a lot of different things. So we're just narrowing it down to two concepts, which are the, the entirety of this book, basically, is that you can have one of two mindsets. You can have a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. And so what a fixed mindset means is that you kind of tend to assume that things stay the same, that things have particular characteristics and people have particular characteristics and that is who they are. That is what the situation is. Um, and it doesn't really change very often. Whereas a growth mindset is the opposite of that. It means that you see things in a continual state of progress, that um, where you are today is not the same as where you'll be tomorrow. And who somebody else is today is not the same person that they will be a year from now, etc. And obviously both of these are true to some extent, right? Reality is always a balance of the two of them. This is more about an attitude. It's more about a focus. Which do you focus on? Do you tend to treat things as though they're static, as though they're fixed? Or do you tend to treat things as though they are constantly changing? And chances are you have some combination of the two mindsets. And you might have one mindset in one situation, another mindset in another situation. For example, maybe you have a growth mindset about your career and you see yourself as constantly advancing and constantly learning new skills and constantly getting smarter. But maybe you have a fixed mindset about your body. You think I'm fat or I'm skinny or I'm bald and that's just the way it is. I just have to accept it. And so the book makes the case that the growth mindset sets you up for success a lot better than the fixed mindset. And if you think about it for any length of time, you could kind of figure out why that is, right? That if you believe that you are who you are and you're never going to change, well, you're never going to put in the effort to change, right? And if you do put in the effort, maybe you say you go on a diet, maybe you say you go to the gym, maybe you start, so you start taking a new course to try to learn some new skill, well, it's probably not going to stick very well because deep down, uh, you don't really believe that it, that it can work, right? You believe that you are who you are and it's, it's, you're going to stay that way forever. Um, and, and so you're, you're probably going to fail at everything you do to try to improve. Whereas if you truly have a growth mindset, if you truly believe that uh, progress is possible and, and progress actually is the normal state of being, then you're going to get that progress a lot more easily. You're going to be a lot more excited about uh, making yourself progress. And if you're someone who follows my channel, which if you're not already, by the way, go ahead and hit subscribe because I got a lot of good stuff that'll help you, especially if you're in that growth mindset. But if you're somebody who, who follows my channel, chances are you already do lean towards that growth mindset because everything I talk about is how to improve yourself and about how self-improvement is uh, the highest objective in just about every area of your life. 
This is something that's true spiritually, which I talk about a lot from my Christian spiritist perspective, but it's also true just the way that our, our psychology is developed, right? Is that if you try to attain a goal, right? If you're, if you're pushing for a particular goal, then the journey towards that goal is going to bring you contentment. It's going to bring you satisfaction. It's going to bring you fulfillment. And then when you attain that goal, it feels really good. But that good feeling only lasts a short time, right? If you get something that you've really wanted uh, and, and you indulge in it, maybe say you, you've always wanted to own a house on the beach or you've always wanted to have a boat or you always wanted to get down to 160 pounds, whatever it is, when you finally attain that goal, you feel awesome, right? You feel so good about yourself because you've been able to attain that, but the feeling doesn't last very long and all of a sudden, you, you need something else to shoot for, right? Otherwise, you get depressed because we're, we're supposed to be in a constant state of growth. So if you're in a growth mindset, then that's going to be uh, in alignment with both your spirituality and your psychology. So I've listed out a few of the differences and the implications between the fixed and the growth mindset. And I'll go over those and kind of give you an idea of why they matter. So in the fixed mindset, you assume that people stay the same. In the growth mindset, you recognize that people change. In the fixed mindset, you focus on circumstances staying the same. In the growth mindset, you uh, focus on circumstances changing. And by the way, this, this refers to both, when, when I say that people stay the same versus people change, it, this applies to both yourself and to others, right? And um, you know, one of the reasons I believe that, that Jesus said, judge not lest you be judged, that the, Jesus was big on not judging other people is because whenever you judge others, it naturally comes back on you. Right? Whenever you point a finger at others, you have four fingers pointing back at you, as the old saying goes. So even if you don't do it consciously, if you were in that judging mindset, you think that, oh, this person is bad or this person is dumb. Um, it, and even if you judge people positively, actually, you, you, you kind of can't help but judge yourself in comparison, which actually is the, the next thing I put that um, fixed mindset is big on comparison to others, whereas a growth mindset is improvement focused. And this is a, a huge uh, problem if you're in the fixed mindset is that you're gonna be always comparing yourself to others and sometimes you're not gonna compare very well and even when you do compare well, for one thing, it might turn you into an arrogant jerk and even if not, it's still gonna set you up for failure as soon as you find somebody that's a little further along in their journey than you are. And notice when I say further along in their journey, I'm completely talking in the terms of the growth mindset, right? Because the fixed mindset sees one person and says, this person's smart and another person's dumb, or this person's good and another person's bad, right? And, and the, the growth mindset says that it doesn't really work that way, that or at least that, that those are not immutable characteristics, that this person uh, might be smart now, but probably that person was not always smart. That person had to read, that person had to study, that person had to meditate and think in order to get to that point uh, where that person is smart. And then on the other hand, the person who's dumb, yeah, they might be dumb now, but they have every opportunity to become smart, to apply themselves to learning and thus become smart. And then with the circumstances too, that's a big deal. So say you're born into a poor family, right? A, a person in the fixed mindset is gonna say, I'm a poor person. This is who I am, I am a poor person. The, the circumstances around me have made me poor and so I'll be poor forever, right? Whereas the growth mindset person says, recognizes, okay, I'm poor right now, but I can learn, I can study, I can increase my skills, I can start a business, I can uh, learn some artistic ability, whatever it is, I can learn to do marketing. By the way, I talk about this all the time on my channel, so if you're interested in learning these things, then make sure you subscribe. But the person in the growth mindset, it really doesn't matter where they're starting from because they know they can always get better and better and better as time goes on. So whereas the fixed mindset person compares himself to others, the growth mindset person is constantly monitoring his progress. He's constantly comparing himself to who he was yesterday, right? Always improving. So instead of me comparing myself against uh, somebody else 
that maybe I go to the gym, for example, and uh, I see this big, strong dude that's in the gym, and if I was in the fixed mindset, I would look at that guy and I would be discouraged, right? I would say, this guy is better than me. Uh, I'm a weak nothing, and, and I could never hope to, uh, to be as good as him. Whereas in the growth mindset, I see something like that and I say, this is what's possible. This is what I could be if I applied myself to eating right and to working out. Right, and you can see how this informs politics, right? People in the fixed mindset hate rich people, right? They see somebody who's rich and they're angry and they're jealous and they're resentful, whereas a person in the growth mindset sees somebody that's rich, and especially if there's a lot of people that's ri that are rich, and it, it gives us encouragement. We say, wow, look what's possible. Look what we could do. When instead of being resentful, of those people, we try to learn from those people. We try to follow those people's example because clearly they have figured something out. We don't assume that they were just born rich, that they were born into a rich family and they were a trust fund baby. And you know, sometimes that's true. Again, these, these are both true in some instances. The reality is a mix of both. Your choice is which you choose to focus on. And I know for a fact that there are a lot of people who were born poor who ended up rich. Just like there are a lot of people who used to be fat or used to be skinny and now they have a great body. Just like there's a lot of people who used to be dumb, who used to get F's in school, but now they're brilliant, right? You can find these examples everywhere. And it does require some sort of uh, sense of responsibility when you get to this growth mindset because when you, when you recognize this, um, that, that you can progress, that you can develop yourself, then all of a sudden, where you are becomes your responsibility. And so if you've wasted your life, if you've been sitting around watching Netflix your whole life instead of developing yourself, and so you're fat, you're lazy, you're stupid, and you're in bad health, well, all of a sudden, switching from fixed to growth mindset is a little painful because you have to recognize, okay, I created this situation. I am in a, a bad place because of my own fault. And so it's a little bit difficult, but once you can accept that, then it's very empowering because you can say, okay, well, I've created this bad situation, but I am also able to get myself out of it. And that's an extremely powerful thing. And by the way, you can help other people, especially if you're a parent, especially if you have kids. Um, you can talk in terms of the growth mindset instead of the fixed mindset. So do not compare your kids to other people. Do, try not to compare anybody to other people uh, if, you can, if, if you can avoid it. Um, instead, compare them to who they were yesterday. Talk about how much they're improving. Don't, don't tell your kid that you're dumb, well, obviously, and don't tell your kid that they're smart either because even if you tell them the things that are good, like good characteristics, if you focus on fixed things, Right? Even if they're good things, even if you say you're the smartest kid in school, um, you're, still, you're still putting them in this fixed mentality, right? Because if they're already the smartest kid in school, then what need is there for improvement, right? So instead of comparing them to others, instead of uh, putting them in that fixed mindset, tell them how, how proud you are of, of what they did today versus where they were yesterday, of all the things that they learned um, since a year ago, right? Compare them to themselves. Monitor their progress all the time. You can do that for the people around you to help mold them into this growth mindset that is going to serve them so much better in life. Now, the next difference, and this is a big one, is that uh, fixed mindset people are identity focused, right? That they are obsessed with their image. Right? I, I need to look like I'm smart. I need to look like I'm put together. I need to look like I'm rich. And if I'm not smart, if I'm not put together, if I'm not rich, then I'm going to do things to pretend that I am so that I can fool other people into thinking that I'm better than, than I am. Whereas the growth mindset people are improvement focused. Rather than being focused on convincing everybody else that they are a certain way and convincing themselves that they are a certain way, they're actually focused on getting to that certain way, right? So if, if I want to be rich, then instead of um, buying a bunch of stuff on credit that I really can't afford to try to look like I'm rich, I'm going to go start a business. I'm going to go learn some new skills. I'm going to go take a course so that I can actually get rich. 
I'm focused on improvement. I'm focused on getting better. Now, the last difference I want to go over is that if you're in a fixed mindset, and this is huge, by the way, if you're in a fixed mindset, you're afraid of failure. Whereas if you're in a growth mindset, you're accepting of failure. Now, why is that? Well, if you're in a fixed mindset, if you think that, say that uh, I'm in a fixed mindset and I think that I'm smart. I think, I'm, think, I'm the, the smartest guy in my job or my workplace or whatever. Um, and I'm very proud of that. Well, I'm going to be really, really afraid that I'm going to make some mistake and I'm going to look dumb. Right? I'm going to be really afraid that I'm actually not as smart as I think I am. That I'm actually not as great as I think I am. Because in the fixed mindset, if I believe that I'm, that I'm smart and that I'm capable, um, and then I make some mistake, then what, I'm shattering that belief. All of a sudden, oh no, I'm not smart. I'm not capable. And it destroys my identity that I have focused on so hard. So I think about these people that uh, would like jump out of buildings when they, they lost all their money. Like people who have accumulated a whole bunch of money and then they, they jump out of a building because they lost all their money. It is ridiculous to me, but these are people that are completely in the fixed mindset. It's all of a sudden their identity changed, right? They, they were rich and now they're poor. And they're so focused on identity because they're stuck in that fixed mindset that it completely destroys their life and they commit suicide. Whereas if they were in a growth mindset, um, they would recognize that the real wealth is within themselves, right? And that the fact that the, the money went away is just a temporary thing. If they really have what it takes to create money, to create wealth, then why would it be such a big deal that all of their current wealth went away? They could just recreate it. And by the way, you can see how if, if you're wealthy and you leave your kids a lot of money uh, without teaching them how to actually create wealth themselves, you're leaving them in a very, very vulnerable situation, right? Because they, they are defining themselves as, as rich people, and yet they have no idea how to get rich. Well, as soon as the money goes away, maybe the stock market crashes, maybe the business goes under, maybe they make a bad investment, um, then they're going to be destroyed, Right, so the, this fixed mindset is extremely pernicious. And then on the other side of that, and probably even more pernicious, is if, if you have an unfavorable assessment of who you are. Right, if you uh, have been identified as one of the dumb kids, right, or one of the poor kids, or you've been identified as the fat kid, and you're stuck in that fixed mentality, well, you think that you're going to be poor, you're going to be stupid, you're going to be fat for your entire life. And so basically all you're going to do is, is, one, you're going to hate yourself, and two, you're going to get into these idiotic movements like this whole body positivity fat acceptance thing where large is beautiful, right? You're going you're gonna to try to force everybody else to change their standards because you don't believe that you can change yourself. And so basically you're going to spend your entire life banging your head against a wall trying to get everybody else to believe that being poor and lazy and dumb and fat is a good thing. Right? And it's just never going to work. And then if you're trying to create something, if you're trying to build a business, if you're trying to make it as an artist, if you're trying to make it as a writer, something like that, then this is going to be enormous because uh, if you fail, if you're in a fixed mindset and, and you fail at something, well, what does that say about you? Right? It says that you are a failure. Because you have failed, that makes you a failure. It's a direct indication of who you are as a person. And so you're probably never gonna try because you're going to be deathly afraid of finding out that you are a failure, right? You're gonna be deathly afraid of failing, which means that you define yourself as a failure. Whereas if you're in that growth mindset, then you don't have to be afraid of that. In fact, you can accept that whatever you do, you probably are going to fail at first. If you look at almost anybody who is successful, you find that they tried, they struggled, they failed over and over and over and over again for years and years in most cases. 
And so really the only people who succeed are the people that are in this growth mindset because they are the ones who, for one thing, uh, are not af afraid of the failure in the first place, and secondly, are able to push past the failure when it comes, right? Because a fixed mindset person tries to do something, it doesn't work on the first attempt, and what do they say? They say, okay, I'm a failure, I should just stop trying. So that's it. That's basically the whole book in like 10 minutes. So now you don't really have to go and read it. Although again, if you want to, I'll put the link below. But just to give you some actionable steps, try to think about uh, where you have a fixed mindset and where you have a growth mindset. Like I said, most people are some combination of both. And it may be that you have a fixed mindset in certain parts of life and you have a growth mindset in other parts of life. And so try to identify which those are and try to push your thinking towards the growth mindset in every area of your life. And you will see that your life gets better in every area in which you have a growth mindset. And by the way, I'm coming at this from the perspective of, of I have a growth mindset and I have had a, a strongly growth mindset for my entire life and it has served me extremely well. And all of my friends that are more fixed mindset, they, they think it's like superhuman the things that I can get done. And for me, it's just a matter of course because I believe that if I don't like something, I can change it or if I have a goal that I can attain it. I've always believed that to a much greater extent than most people even think is, is reasonable. Right? Like I believe in, a, I have a growth mindset even about things that the vast majority of people think are fixed. For example, um, I believe that you can be an inch or two taller if you want to. Right? Because most of us have a, have a, a slumped over spine. We have an overcurved spine from sitting too much. And so if you, you can correct that, you can literally give yourself an inch or two of height. Uh, if you have a face that doesn't look good, you can do facial exercises. The bones of the face and of the skull are actually kind of loosely connected. So based on how you strengthen the muscles and how you balance the muscles, you can actually change the shape of your face, right? And these are the kind of things that I look into because I am that sort of extremely growth mindset person. If you're a fixed mindset person, you are never even going to try to research this stuff in the first place. And by the way, if you want to read it, an awesome book that I do recommend that you read all the way through, uh, it's a book called The Biology of Belief by Dr. Bruce Lipton, which is all about the basically the growth mindset as applied to biology. It's all about these scientific discoveries that have been made that shows that just about everything about your biology is uh, able to be improved. Right, that we, we kind of got stuck, the medical system got stuck in this genetic determinist model where we think that you're born with a certain ge genetic code and that genetic code determines everything. And if your parents both had cancer, then you're definitely gonna have cancer, right? That, that everything that happens in your life or that, that happens in your body is genetically determined. And so he goes over this um, massive evidence that's come out pretty newly that shows that that's not the case at all, that we actually have an enormous amount of control over the way our genes express themselves. So if that's something that interests you, I highly recommend that book. Again, it's called The Biology of Belief by Dr. Bruce Lipton. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. So that's a fascinating book and it is worth a full book. It's not just like a book that should have been an article. So click the link if you wanna get that one. Again, click my link and I'll get like 50 cents. So you make me rich. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a big favor, hit the thumbs up icon because it makes the YouTube algorithm like me better. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get my new video that comes out every single week. And I also have a free gift for you for supporting me on YouTube. If you hit that thumbs up, if you hit the subscribe button, I really appreciate it. So I wanna give you a free mini ebook. It's called The Eight Daily Habits for success, happiness, and spiritual fulfillment. I will put that in the description as well so you can download that for free right now. And if you'd like another recommendation for a book that will absolutely blow your mind and you should definitely read the whole thing, check out this video.